Hi there, my name is Jason Caldwell. I'm the lead developer for the S2 member plugin for WordPress. In this video, we're going to cover in great detail S2 members file download options. Now you can get to this page by going to your dashboard and under the S2 member main menu, choose download options. And that'll bring you to this page where you'll find these subsections. Now this is going to be a multi-part video because believe it or not, there's quite a bit of power packed into just these four sections. And S2 members file download options uh, can be configured in a variety of ways. Uh, depending on the scenario or depending on your specific requirement, uh, your business model, you may choose one way over another one or you may choose to use two or three different methods in conjunction with each other. Okay, so the first part of this video is going to cover just the basics of getting the file download options configured, how to upload files to the security enabled directory, and how to set up your download limit exceeded page. And then we're going to touch on this again in the second part and go over how you can uh, how you can be more specific about which files can be downloaded by different levels. Okay, and then in the last section we're going to go over advanced download restrictions and inline file extensions. Okay, and advanced download restrictions uh, has to do with download keys. Okay, so starting with the first part of this video, basic download restrictions, let's expand this down and take a look. Right here, you'll see S2 member instructs you to upload your restricted files to this security enabled directory. Now, this will be different on your installation, but it will always end with WP content plugins S2 member files. Okay? This is telling you where on your server S2 member expects to find all of its security enabled files. So, this is where you would upload any files that you want to be off limits to the public. Okay? And then this line below is showing you how to link to those files. Okay, so you just take this portion, this is your a URL to your WordPress installation, followed by this variable S2 member file download equals, and then the value of that variable is just the name of the file that you uploaded to your S2 member files directory. Okay, now you can also create subfolders inside of this directory and organize your files, and in that case, you would just use the relative location here. So for example, if I created a subdirectory inside of the S2 member files, security enabled directory. So if this was S2 member files slash music and then I and then I upload a file to that music subdirectory called music.wave, then here I replace example file.zip with music slash music.wave. So this is always the location of the file relative to the S2 member files directory. Okay, now I'm going to switch screens here for a moment and show you my FTP application. Now, if you've been running a website for any length of time, you're probably already familiar with FTP. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. So if you're not familiar with it, I'm just going to do a quick quick summary of what FTP is. This is a, this is a program called FileZilla, and it's indicated by this icon right here. Now, this is a free application. If you go to Google and type in FileZilla, you can pull this up and download it. And every hosting provider provides FTP access to your web space, okay, as will yours. Almost, I don't know of any hosting provider that does not. Okay, so you put that information in, you connect to your server, to your web space, and this will be your installation of WordPress on the right side. This is your server. Okay, so this is videos.snapsy.com, and this is the files that make up my WordPress installation. And on the left, I have all of the drives on my computer. So on the left, I just navigate and find the file I want to upload. I right-click it, choose Upload, and it'll move it over to my server into the directory that I'm currently in. Okay, so I don't want to upload anything to the main installation. I'm going to open up my WP Content folder. Okay, and in, inside this folder, you will have a Plugins folder and a Themes folder. That's a WordPress standard. So you'll have these same two directories. You'll open up your Plugins folder. And inside of your plugins directory, you'll find a subdirectory for each plugin that you've installed. Okay, so we can see here that I have the S2 member plugin installed. And whenever I activated the S2 member plugin, S2 member automatically created these two additional directories one for the security enabled files and one for its logs. Okay, now, these two, sub, these two subdirectories, these additional S2 member files and S2 member logs, these reside outside of the main S2 member directory for a reason. Okay, if they're outside of the main installation directory, 
then it allows all of your protected files in your logs to survive an upgrade of S2 member in the future. So this is why they're, they live here outside of the main S2 member installation. And you want to leave it that way. Okay, and this is also where S2 member expects all the security enabled files to be. So this is what we want to open up so we can take a look at all of the files that I've uploaded for the purpose of this demonstration. Now when you open your S2 member files directory, all you will have to start with is just this HT access file. Okay, now this starts with a dot and it has this special name because it's a server configuration file. Now this file only has one line in it and it has three words on that line. Those three words are deny from all. Because all that does is it tells the server that all of the files, whether they're inside a subdirectory, all of the files inside this, this S2 member files directory are locked down. No one can access these files over the internet. The server is protecting them. It's denying access from everyone, including you, even as the administrator. The only way files can be uploaded or downloaded from this directory are through an FTP application such as FileZilla. Okay? Now, there is one additional way that you can download files, and that is the method we were just looking at. I'm going to switch back to the other menu. And that is using these special links that S2 member provides you examples of, using this S2 member file download. So this is the only way that files can be downloaded, either through a link like this or directly through an FTP application. And that's great. That's exactly what we want. We want these files locked down. Okay, so let's go back over to S2 members configuration, and let's consider where we would put a link like this, okay? Could I put this link just anywhere on the internet? Could I send it in an email? Okay, the answer to that is yes, because if you click this link and you're not logged in, okay, S2 member will detect that you have no membership level access because you're not even logged into the site. And in that case, instead of serving the file, S2 member will instead redirect you to the membership options page that has been configured for S2 member. Okay, that's under your general options panel in S2 member. Okay, now if you are logged in and you click this link, then the download will proceed. Okay, but the download will only proceed if you're within your limitations. Okay, and that's where we're going to go take a look at next. Right here in this same configuration panel, you'll see that there's a separate configuration for each level. And all we're doing here, we're not, we're not dictating right here which files are available to which level. All we're, all we're deciding here is how many files each level is going to be allowed to download. Okay? So in this example, on this installation for demonstration purposes, I'm only using two of S2 members' levels. Level 0 are my free subscribers, and level 1 is my paid premium access. So you can see I've configured... S2 member to allow my free subscribers to download two files every 30 day period. And then that's it. Okay? On my premium members for level one, I'm allowing them to download unlimited files. That's what those nines mean. It's indicated here. It means unlimited. So they can download unlimited files every 30 day period. Okay? So essentially there's no restriction here. If you become a paid member, you can download an unlimited number of files from my site. Okay, now what happens if I'm a member at level zero and I click a link like this, but I've already downloaded two files. Okay, what will happen then, I'm going to collapse this. What will happen then is instead of S2 member redirecting that member to the membership options page, they will instead be redirected to this special page. It's called a download limit exceeded page. And this is where you configure which page in your installation of WordPress you want to you want to assign as your download limit exceeded page. And I've already created a page for this, and I've chosen it here. And I, just, I just named it uh, Download Limit Exceeded for clarity. And I'm going to switch over to this other tab here because I have this page open where you can see what I've done. The Download Limit Exceeded page, all it contains is just a short message. And this actually is all you really need. Okay, all you need to do is just say something like, you have exceeded your limit just to indicate why they're on that page. You know, why didn't they get the file? Why were they redirected to this page? It's because they reached their limit. Okay, as in any additional information or graphics or media that you want to place on this page is completely up to you. In this case, what I have done is since free subscribers are the only ones that would be limited, in this case, I just put a note here that because if you reach this page, you're not a level one member, obviously. 
because level my level one members have unlimited access. So in this case, I just put a quick note that says, please upgrade now for unlimited downloads. And then I've, I've placed a PayPal modification button here. This is a short code for a modification button so that my level one, my level zero free subscribers can be told and be provided with the button that all they have to do is click this button that will upgrade them to level one so that they can return to the site and download the file on an unlimited basis and get the file that they'd like. Okay, so you can get as creative with this as you like. Okay, so let's move back over and let's collapse this section. Okay, now taking another look, just to do a quick review, when you want to protect a file, you upload that file to your S2 member files directory using an FTP application such as FileZilla. Okay, you'd upload that file somewhere inside the S2 member files directory and it's okay to create subdirectories. Okay, then when you want to link to that file, you use this example link provided by S2 member and on the end of that you just change out this example file with the relative location of the file you want to provide access to. And then those links can be sent anywhere over the internet, they can be emailed, you can do anything with these you like because S2 member will handle the authentication of these files automatically. Okay, so that covers basic download restrictions. Now in the next part of this video, we're going to take a look at how to restrict files, specific files, to specific customers at different levels. Okay, instead of just instead of just dictating how many files, we want to dictate which files level one can download and which files level zero can download. Okay, so we're going to take a look at that in the very next section.